Hi there. Today is a good day. And it's a good day because I've got a sister that loves me. You know, every time she comes and sees me, she usually brings some baked goods for me. This past weekend, she actually surprised me with a couple different baked goods. Some Rice Krispie squares and the most delicious biscotti I've ever eaten. She brought a nice big sampling of this special almond and cranberry biscotti. I tasted it and it was like nothing I've ever had before. Fresh, crisp, sweet, everything you'd want in a biscotti. You know what? I think I'm going to try to recreate this recipe. She sent it to me and I thought I would do it and see how it turns out. I'm sure it's not going to turn out as good as Mary's, but I'm going to give it a try. Let's get bacon. The ingredients for this biscotti are First of all, the wet ingredients, got some vegetable oil, a couple eggs, vanilla extract and almond extract, and also, it's not a wet ingredient, but sugar. We're, we're going to combine these, first of all, to make a nice slurry. We're going to then add the cranberries and the pistachios. And for the dry ingredients, we have a little bit of salt, flour, and some baking powder. Let's combine all the uh, wet ingredients first. We're going to start by adding a quarter cup of oil. I can't find my quarter cup measure. I have a half cup measure and you know I have a minor in math and I, I think if I recall correctly a quarter cup is half of a half a cup. So let's add a quarter cup of oil. Now we add three quarters of a cup of sugar and make sure we blend it together really thoroughly. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One, two, a half a teaspoon of almond extract. And then two eggs. I'm going to actually crack the eggs in this little bowl here first to make sure I don't get any shells into the big mixture. That looks pretty good. In they go. Now let's mix these up really well. So we're going to combine this all, get a nice slurry here. That looks good and combined there. So I'm going to add my uh, pistachios and my craisins into this liquid right up front here to make sure that, uh, well, they have a nice coating of the liquid on there. So we have one and a half cups of pistachios. Seems like a lot, but you know what? I love pistachios. And now a uh, half a cup of dried cranberries. Let's combine that now. Our dry ingredients include one and three quarter cups of all purpose flour. We have just a quarter teaspoon of salt and then one teaspoon of baking powder. I put this in a little strainer or sifter just to mix it up really good and make sure we don't have any clumps. Time to combine our wet and dry ingredients. I'm going to be putting the flour and baking powder and salt into the egg mixture a little bit at a time and then stirring it in. Yep, this is getting to be a nice dough consistency here. I'll keep going at it till it's all thoroughly combined. I think I did a pretty good job of combining it all together. 
What I'm going to do now is just cover this with a little piece of plastic wrap and throw it in my refrigerator for 20 minutes or so just to give it a little time to rest. Then we'll be putting it on the baking sheet and um, letting it bake. We're going to actually bake this, this thing twice. I just took this out of the fridge. It's been sitting there for about 20 minutes. So we have to make a couple 12 inch logs out of this. So first I'm going to start by flouring my countertop that I washed, washed thoroughly and I washed my hands thoroughly too. Took off any jewelry. So let's cut this in half first. Perfect. One at a time. So we're going to make 12 inch logs out of these. My sister said I should wet my hands to make this easier because this is going to stick, but I'm, I'm doing okay right now. Not too bad for my first time here. Now I'll do the other one. Not too bad looking. Time to put these in a 300 degree oven for 35 minutes or until lightly brown. Biscotti. Where does that word come from? You know, I decided to look it up and frankly I've been looking up a lot of words recently since playing Wordle. Where do they get some of them words from? I don't know. Anyways, Biscotti comes from the medieval Latin word biscoctus, meaning twice cooked. This is actually going to be a bakery that we bake twice. We're going to take it out after about 30 minutes, slice it up, and then put it back in the oven to crisp it up. So it's a, it's a twice baked or a twice cooked piece of bakery. Biscotti. Who would have thought? This has been in the oven now for about 35 minutes and it is a nice light brown. My sister suggested to keep the cooling at a slow rate you should cover it with a uh, towel, a nice clean towel. So I'm going to do that and let that cool slightly for the next oh, 15 minutes. Okay, these have been cooling off for about 15 minutes now. We need to cut these in about three quarter inch slices. I'm going to be using a serrated, not a serrated, yeah, I suppose it's a serrated knife. And just gonna cut these nice and slowly here so we try not to break them up too much. We'll put these back onto the cooking sheet here and pop them back in the oven shortly. Well, that one broke. I guess I'll be eating that one early. Time to pop these in the oven for another uh, 8 to 10 minutes. I might flip them halfway through. And uh, we're going to crisp these up and get them ready to eat. I'm going to make a little chocolate uh, drizzle sauce that I'm going to drizzle over a few of these. So I'm going to melt, melt some semi-sweet chocolate in the microwave. These have baked an additional 10 minutes at about 275. They're looking really good. I'm going to let them cool down a bit. And then I'm going to take a few of these and drizzle some dark chocolate sauce on it. My wife will like that. There we are. A complete batch of biscotti. Well, minus the two or three ends that I ate. I have a few with some chocolate drizzle on there and many more that don't. I think it's time to give these a taste. Well, here it is. A complete plate of biscotti. Looking really good and 
smelling really good also. My wife has already tried one of the chocolate versions of this and she's she's liking it. So I guess it's time for me to give a piece a try. Let's take a look at it first. Wow, you can see all the pistachios in there and the craisins. Looking good. Let me just take a small bite here. Mm. Really good. Sweet, crunchy. Wow. Sweet and crunchy. That's what I gotta say. It's good. Not as good as my sister Mary's biscotti, but it's a close second. I'd like to thank her again. Thanks a lot, Mary, for bringing me baked goods. Actually, Rice Krispie Squares and Biscotti. How lucky can a guy get? I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. I wish you all the best. Hope you're having a good day. I am.